little chocolate game. This was a horrible idea. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. So how this works is we have melted down chocolate chips and put in our own fillings of, for Gamble chocolates. And we're doing this spin the bottle style. So we have 14 chocolates, seven good, seven bad. And we'll spin, put them in a ring, spin the bottle, whatever the bottle points towards, whoever spun the bottle has to eat that chocolate. Because kissing a chocolate would just be weird. Be a little weird. And this is kind of a take on those variety chocolates that you get where you're not really sure 100% what the flavor is. So we decided to up the ante and fill our chocolates. Um, as Mary said, seven good, seven bad. If you eat a good chocolate, you gain one point. If you eat a bad chocolate, you have a negative one point. Starting with the good flavors, because we filled these ourselves, are caramel, M&M's. What kind of M&M's? Uh, I think it was just a regular Just regular M&M's, &M's, the regular milk chocolate M&M's. Uh, strawberry jam. No filling, so it's just solid chocolate. Almond, so there's an almond in one. Uh, Nutella and craisins. Of our bad flavors, we have mustard, tuna, ketchup, asparagus tea, which is just like powdered asparagus, so it's actually kind of gross. It makes you pee so that's a little horrible. <laughs> it's pretty nasty. Uh, a green olive that has thyme and lemon, mm -hmm. red pepper flakes, and nori, which is it's not technically nori because it's not the seaweed that you use for um, sushi, but it's a snack seaweed. A snack seaweed. So oh. what's worse about this one versus normal nori is that means it has like space sauce on it. So yeah. It will be interesting. Out of the good flavors, which one do you hope and pray you get? Well, see, I'm kind of hoping I get the almond, but at the same time, what if it was a bad almond? then it would turn into a bad one. I think out of all the good ones, the one that I'm hoping I get is the solid chocolate. Just yes. because I know it's just solid chocolate. And also, by the way, we, we used semi-sweet for these chocolates. Semi-sweet chocolate. Not milk. So which one are you hoping I have to eat and not you? Out of the bad ones. Which one do you think is going to be the most disgusting? I think the one that's going to be the hardest to stomach is going to be the asparagus tea. I think that one too. Although mustard? See, I think mustard is just going to be a bit of a shock, but you'll be able to stomach it. The other one I'm worried about is the olive. The olive, yes, because I love olives. Okay. But not in chocolate. Not in chocolate. That's, I've never, like I've heard of red pepper flakes, like a kind of chili chocolate, but olives in chocolate? I mean, ketchup and chocolate's pretty bad too. Well, but and ketchup, tuna. tomatoes are sweet. Now the tuna, did you, is that in water or is it like the... In, in water. water. In the water? Okay. So. And it's just, it's just like a couple flakes of tuna. Okay. So yeah. You ready to set this up? Yup. You ready for this? Rock, paper, scissors to see who goes first. FYI, this was my idea. The spin the bottle aspect was my idea though. Yeah. Yeah. So. I have lots of brilliantly horrible ideas. And for some reason, we decide to do them all. See, I just have brilliant ideas. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. Okay, you go first. Let's do this. Which is actually kind of bad, because if you get a good one, that's only six good ones left. Mm -hmm. All right. This one? That one. Okay, I think so, yeah. It's a little rolling. It was on this one, though. It was on that one, yeah. And you can't smell them. This is all chocolate. Yeah. All right. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Mustard. How is it? It's not that bad. It's not that bad. It really isn't. It could be worse. But it's spicy. You know, mustard spicy, so not really spicy. I'm a little worried, but oh my god, I can smell it. Tangy. Oh. Okay, that means there are only six more bad ones. All right. Woo, that was a little bit too much spin. I get that, that one. one. The janky one. Oh, that's the one we know what it is because yeah. it didn't fully form. So it's it's chop. It's caramel. One point for me. See, I knew this was going to be like a camp food challenge. I'm going to get most of the bad ones. 
You don't know that yet, we're only two chocolates in. Too bad I didn't like film one with cabbage. That would have been funny. That one. This one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Solid. Damn. So I'm at one point, Mary's at goose egg. Is that zero in German? Goose egg. Oh, goose egg. I thought you said goose egg, and I'm like, I don't speak German. I was like, that doesn't sound like zero, but okay. I know the months of the year just because they're very similar to English. Um, chocolate. <coughs> I know chocolate. <coughs> I know sparkle. <laughs> Need some water. I'll get you some. <coughs> oh come on! You haven't even eaten a bad one. I have I'm mustard. Not, I got excited. See, the ten days I spent in Berlin, the only German word that I really picked up was sparkle, because it was sparkle season. What white is sparkle? Spar it's white asparagus. Sparkle is asparagus. Oh, that's why you knew what that was in the store. <clears throat> yeah. Mm -hmm. You can put it on the screen like, okay, sure we will. A little more dental this time. That was that one. Okay. Ah, uh, carpe diem. Oh, cranberry. She got crazy. Mm. Oh. I, I saw it when you were biting mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so far I'm getting the good one. Mm -hmm. I did get one good one though, so. But that means that there's only four more good ones and there's six more bad ones. That was one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can't remember if this was a good one or a bad one. Just do it. <laughs> it's just really powdery. It's not really that bad. Oh, it smells bad. Really, it's like someone puts in the chocolate. You put in the chocolate. That actually really wasn't that bad. You really can't taste these berries. So oh, I see. Well, that one. For me, <laughs> she loves olives. They're like one of her favorite foods. What? Oh, I think that's the ketchup. Must be pretty bad. <laughs> Go lie down, Jesse. <laughs> oh, I oh. bet it's not that bad. Chocolate was worse than the mustard, though. Yeah, it was pretty bad. You didn't try the mustard, though. No, because you ate it all. <laughs> because I'm not a boob. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Your turn. <laughs> that one. Yep. <laughs> Almond. Almond. Okay. Come on, tuna. <laughs> I'd rather tuna <laughs> than olives. That one? Or just spit it again? again. Okay. That, that one? one. <laughs> she just got all of... <laughs> Not as bad as the ketchup. 
tub. So it's not one of those things where it just strangely works. I actually can't decide if it strangely works or not. Yeah, I, I can't decide if it strangely works. I mean, I can't say I'd eat it again. Ready? Mary's turn! This one. That one. Okay. Tuna? Oh, it is tuna. <laughs> you didn't realize it was tuna? It actually works. It's really weird. It just gives it its saltiness. Okay, I can smell the tuna fish from here. I can smell it from here. Do you want to try it a little? It's, it's really not that bad. Like, I'm not kidding. It's not that bad. It just makes it a bit salty. See? That awfully works. Yeah, tuna and chocolate. Who knew? Alright, we're down to five more chocolates. Jam, Nutella, or Nori left. Okay. So, if I get Nori this time, there's only two good ones left. Yep. Okay. Oh, the pepper's still heavy. That one? Yep. Nori or good? What's your prediction? Probably good. It's statistically more likely. Nutella. Yep. So, I think that one's jam, and I think this one's the nori. Well, whichever one you get, I have to eat the other one. Yep. Cheers! Cheers. <coughs> Two pet flies. You got jam? The snack seaweed actually isn't that bad. It's not? Mm -mm. You wanna try it? I said it wasn't that bad. Remember, I'm the one who bought the mustard chocolate. What was the worst one? The ketchup. Ketchup. C. 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 Ketchup was the worst. This I lost count of who the winner was. Who was the winner? I won! Is this the first time I've ever won a challenge? Yeah. This is the first challenge I've won. Yeah. It's exciting. It was pure luck. Okay, so I got uh, three points, and Mary is a negative three because I ate all the bad ones. Which, if you've seen the canned food challenge, that's what happened last time, too. Yeah. yeah. The tuna oddly worked, though. The, it, very oddly. But the nori was it was kind of bad. I think it's more of the texture thing, because it's like weird paper. It wasn't that bad. She's just a wimp. I'm a little bit of a wimp, yeah. 
I like what I like, okay? Is that so bad? Yes. That's it for the Gamble Chocolate Challenge. Thanks for watching and have a happy Valentine's Day. We'll see you on Wednesday with another weird food. This is how it works. You get a good chocolate, one point off. You get a bad chocolate, no, good chocolate, you get a point. Okay, bad chocolate, you take a point off. How do decide who goes first? Rock, paper, scissors? Yeah, we'll do rock, okay. paper, scissors. All right. Kai, bye, bo. Kai, bye, bo. I don't get it. I don't know which one's Kai, bye, or bo, though. That's the problem. I know how to do it. Kai, bye, bo. But I don't know which one it is. Kai, bye, bo. Although, I guess you don't technically actually have to know what the Kai, bye, or bo is. Yeah, it's just rock, paper, scissors. Okay, for a school. Um, we don't need any more. Okay, I'm just like cutting away. Just getting excited. Not really. Excited for a stomach ache. Yeah. Stomach ache. Okay. Yes. Okay. Sorry. I had it mostly circular already. It wasn't perfect. <laughs> she can't help it. She was raised by engineers. Oh.